During the video when I was changing the idler tires on the Tascan 244 I talked about using rubber parts from the plumbing trade as a substitute for the rather expensive parts that you would order from eBay. I use rubber o-ring, sometimes labelled as gaskets. I've had them from a couple of different suppliers. Usually I'm going for 14 to 15 millimetre as the inside diameter and a 3 millimetre in cross section. It would probably be better if they were square or rectangular in cross section but I haven't been able to find those. It's going to be out of focus but hopefully you can see in profile that that is round rather than square. There's a way to file that evenly all the way around using two drills I'll show you that in a minute. Ideally you're looking for neoprene. I tried with a couple of different rubbers and some of them are too soft and some of them are too hard. If they're too soft then they wear down and all the chewed up rubber gets into your transport. If they're hard then that's kind of worse because you'll get pitch problems, they'll squeak, they'll slip. Whereas these neoprene ones, once they're filed down, they've got just the right amount of grip, but they don't wear any further, or at least not very fast. For the control belt, I use neoprene o-rings again. Um, in this case, they're 45 millimeters in diameter, the two millimeter cross section. The original belt supplied by Tascam are square in cross section, but it doesn't seem to matter that these are round. I've never had any problem with these. For your capstan belt, I found that you can't really get away with using some sort of substitute part. I have tried. I mean, for the purposes of testing a machine, if you're waiting for a capstan belt to arrive, you can put a bog standard rubber band just to establish whether the capstan motor is working or not but you know you're not going to be wanting to leave it like that at the moment as a UK resident I'm using gbaudio.co.uk their size 10 for the 244-246 works well it costs about £9 delivered and it normally arrives within two days that may not suit you depending where you're located in the world if you've been using some other supplier in Europe or um, in the US or wherever and you've had success with it, let others know in the comments below. So here's how I go about evenly filing down the rubber o-rings that are on these idler wheels. First thing I need is some kind of a, a craft tool that will accept a sanding head. Could use a Dremel. I've got this relatively cheap one with, I think this was like 25 pounds off eBay. Works fine for me. Then the other thing I'm gonna be using, another tool with a chuck big enough that it's going to allow me to put this in here. Again, I apologise for the lack of focus. I'm in manual focus because it makes me feel pro AF. This is making that sanding happen rapidly and then this one is going to be making sure that the amount you're sanding is even all the way around. So I hope you can see that those are smaller now, same size as each other, and even all the way around. And I don't know if you can see at that distance, but that is now a matte surface where it was gloss. That's good, that's going to grip against the side of the supply and take up reels. And now I've reinstalled them into the transport and you can see that although there's maybe less clearance between play and fast forward and rewind mode than there would be with commercially produced idler tires. It's sufficient to give yourself clearance between the two reels and differentiation between the two modes. 